so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you charged with allegedly using self-defense spray on an employee and customer at a wild wings cafe in spartanburg According to Spartanburg police, officers responded about 2.30 p.m. Sunday to a restaurant on West Main Street to investigate a reported assault. The manager told officers that one of the employees had been assaulted and sprayed. Several customers were also sprayed during the incident. Officers stated that surveillance footage showed that a woman stepped into the dining area and walked rapidly towards the bar. According to the incident report, the suspect, identified as Danasia Shante Gregory, age 22, of Union, started throwing punches at the bartender and spraying mace or pepper spray. An employee told the officer that Gregory walked out of the back door before an officer found her and took her into custody. She was taken to Spartanburg County Detention Center, charged with third degree assault and battery and released without bond. I beg your pardon. Um, the main fact is this. You clearly heard that she went into an establishment. She decided to walk real fast through the dining area up to the bartender, started swinging and throwing windmill, windmill punches. And then after that, started throwing out pepper spray, not only spraying the bartender and, and potentially other employees, but also customers as well. Like I said before, and they stated that, yo, this is what she got listed for, but we're going to, you know, let her go without bond. Huh? So what? She can decide to do the exact same things again. Like, yo, give her like a thousand hours of community service or something like, dude, like all you're sitting up here doing is stating that, yo, if a woman decides that she wants to assault somebody, she's not going to face anything. We're not going to do anything to her. She's not going to be really held accountable. And what is that going to do? That's going to enable other women to feel bold enough to be like, oh, well, she ain't get held accountable for that. That means that I could sit up there and do the exact same thing as well, because nobody's going to hold me accountable for my actions. Why? Because I'm a woman. That's all I'm seeing here. That's that's all I got from the story. You roll up into somebody's job and you assault them not once, but twice. And then you walk out, leaving the scene of a crime before police comes. Come on, dog. Like, yo, this is what I, this is the type of stuff that I be talking about. But then when I list this stuff, people want to start throwing excuses. You can't throw excuses on this. You can't sit up there and say, oh, but I, I wonder what that person did in order for them to sit up there and act. Did what? She walked into the establishment. It wasn't like she was already there. She literally drove, walked, took a bus, took an Uber, took a lift, got dropped off by a friend, a mother, her baby. She got dropped off by something. And then decided to walk into the establishment with a plan that she was already going to set foot and do and already had the pepper spray in hand. So I was like, you know, you can't even break out no excuses on this, but I'm, I'm sure the stupid few will try. I'm sure the stupid few will try. But like I said before, this is the type of stuff that I've been talking about. You 22 and you wasting your life like this. You committing acts of assault like this for what? For what? And then, well, let's say, let's say for an example, right? What if one of the customers that was hit by that that uh, 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 that pepper spray, what if it got them in such a way that they couldn't breathe? What if they were asthmatic and they didn't have the inhaler? Like, do you understand, like, what could have potentially happened with that? Like I said, because she didn't just go after the bartender. She ended up hitting other people with that pepper spray. Like I said, that's ridiculous. When I sit up there and say that, yo, a lot of the women out here, y'all got to start sitting up there talking to these girls. Y'all got to start shaping them up. Y'all got to start putting some order out here for them. Because the actions out here that they're following, it ain't going to be working out. It's detrimental. It's not nothing positive. And the other young girls going to be looking at women 
like Danasia and they're going to be trying to do the exact same thing. And guess what? Nobody's going to hold them accountable. They're going to blame everybody else. But the person that is at fault, which is the person that decided to go into these actions. Like I said, man, y'all, y'all just going to be staying lost at the end of the day. So, like I said, if somebody ends up having a response for like one of your daughters out here, I don't know what to tell y'all. Because like I've been telling you, you need to be sit up there and be talking to these young women. Because y'all women at the end of the day, y'all need to be sitting up there talking to them so that they can sit up there and, and, and switch the type of trajectory that they're on at this moment in time. Because like I said before, she got one mug shot, she's going to end up having four more. It's going to sit up there and happen because she got the attitude in this picture like, I don't care. That's how she's looking. And she knows that she's going to end up doing the same thing, if not something different, if not worse. And end up in the exact same predicament. And guess what? They're going to let her right back out with no type of bell at all. She's just going to be out there free to commit the same exact act.